Hey everyone, today we're going to be playing The Frog Detective, The Haunted Island. I have no idea what to expect for this game. I think I got it for free from Humble Bundle, so it's not even free. It's just like, I, if you know Humble Bundle, then you know what I'm talking about. And I've had this in my Steam library for like years, never touched it. I'm going to need that magnifying glass. Maybe not. Hello? 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 Who is it? It's a the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. How's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Well, sal... Well, that's not English. <laughs> that means welcome back, I think. Anyways, what, what are you calling about? Oh, right, I have a case for ya. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks, so get this. He hired a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyways, he's hi or he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. The ghost is still at large, so the head scientist there, a monkey, a monkey, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available, so I'm asking you. <laughs> Dang. The second best investigator. I fully understand Lobster Cop's abilities outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good too, so are you up for it? I don't know. Sounds scary. I have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you. I'll do it. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. Basics are... There's a sloth who hears a lot of spooky stuff. Calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. Up to you to solve the mystery. That's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to go grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, get that. Give me that. Give me that. Detective. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. I did get it. Thank you. Look through your magnifying glass with the right click. Yo. Alright, let's test how good this is. There's a picture of me. What am I doing? I don't know. Damn. Alright, let's get going. Detective, time to solve a mystery. Dooba dooba doo, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> A detective Martin Larry <laughs> and Bo the mouse mouse Bernie Fresh X and the rest interesting case number one the haunted island alright we made it to the island this looks like a monkey hello Hello. Right. <laughs> you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. Well, you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown. I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? You've been following my blog post? Yes, I'm Mysterious Monkey 49 and I comment all the time. I've even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mysterious Monkey 49. Please, Mysterious Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mysterious Monkey. Of course, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yes. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Who should I talk to second? Hmm, Larry, the tall red one. 
He always wants to meet new people, although I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? That'll be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Nothing. I'm done with you. Alright, we're Larry. 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 La La Larry. <laughs> La I like the character design a lot. I don't know why. Larry. It is hi. It's me, Larry. I did not do it, huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious about. <laughs> What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I, did. I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. That's such a relief. Are you going to ask me some questions? Yeah. The noises. What can you tell me about the noises? I am not the one making them. Yes. But I know where they're coming from. And they're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, then we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. I'm a really great listener. And how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here. So detective, none of this is safe. Anyways, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need some toothpaste, some wool, and a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. It's a standard explosive recipe. Yes. If you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me then the questions I mean. Explosion? Let's make some night night. We need toothpaste, a wool, a chunk of gold, and some pasta. I think we're all set with him. Alright, who's this? Bernice or something? Bernie? I see some pasta. You're the detective, right? The one the monkey keeps going about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought somebody else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Then why did you take it? To be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said go scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was just like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It could still be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Uh, about this hole? What do you know about the noises? I'm not great this job, but it does seem like the noises aren't coming from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. But I'm not a secret agent. What else do you want to know? Let's do the... Oh, wait, we just asked him that. Uh, secret agent, I guess. Secret agent gets the best stuff. But, like, for example, if you got a cool magnifying glass, I want one of those, but I'm not a secret agent. Sure, you're not. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I'd want more. Alright. I see. Let me get that pasta now. May I have the pasta? But I need it. Huh. What is this? Can I grab this? Guess not. Okay. There's a lot of people here. Let me walk around with this. Here we need gold, toothpaste, something else. That's the hole, right? Let's talk to this person. Noodle, hey. How's it hanging? Fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. 
I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't ghost hunting supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool. Oh, yeah, we need wool. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. I'm so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings, but there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made of wool. Haha, are you for real? Yeah, that's weird. Weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but if I wore a coat, met it your slime. What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyways. And I'm saying that as somebody who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. And this is the first time I've heard someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Gross. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Ugh, please. But if you'll need something to clean it up with. Cool. Anyways, I probably won't use fire. Okay. I can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I have some more questions? Ask away. This hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate it. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. Wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mysterious Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask more questions? I think we're done here. So I can't get the wool. I can't get the mac and cheese. Give me the wool. Can I have the wool? Ugh. Notes. Some hole. Noises. Need... Needs some tuma for soup. Tuma toes for soup. Who is ghost? I'm not qualified. <laughs> this might come in handy. Okay, so I can grab things. I've got a magnet. Right, what we got here? We got... Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts. Like Scooby-Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give it back. Buy me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Interesting. Okay, moving on. I guess we gotta talk to all these people in here. Let me just go around a little bit before I talk to somebody else. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Did a broom. You got a broom. Okay, now we got to interview everybody else. So let's go back to the guy that's swimming. Looks like a koala bear. Just want to triple check. Okay, yep. So we got a broom, a magnet, and now we got to talk to him. Or her. Koala. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everybody keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. <laughs> Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Why? I told you, it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. So if I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice, right? 
I don't have any idea where to find one, though. Even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? I'll give him the magnet. I must have to trade with them to get the other items. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you the big shell. I don't need it anyways. Great. Thanks. Wow. A real magnet. Got a shell. Okay. So he got his magnet, so he's happy. Right, let's go talk. Ooh, is this something I need? No, it's just a bug. Okay. Let's go talk to him now. Ooh, can I grab this? Ba 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 ba. Can't grab it. Okay. What's this dude doing? Fresh X. Howdy. Hello. Are you, uh. Yup. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment. Huh? No. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you? D tech <laughs> Yes, nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it anyway, D Ken. Uh your smile. I hope you don't mind me asking, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Toothpaste. I can't even, I can't say it. Whitening cool paste for toothpaste. I guess I met here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do you have teeth? He's a frog. Um, I wish I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my teeth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the past two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You know what? You're right. Not about the sun, but about taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. And that's it. So if I find his toothpaste, I'll come back. Okay, so I think I got everybody on the beach. Can you give me the pasta? Alright, who should we talk to? Alright, let's talk to the... The duck. Who's he fighting? Stop it right there. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? <laughs> I guess, but please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. He's being racist. <laughs> I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one especially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. The tiny shells, I guess. <laughs> Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha ha ha, you fool. Sorry, it's just that there's not many big shells around here. I could get one, sure. That ma this magnifying glass would be useful to me. But I don't see a big shell around here. Ask me questions. I do have a big shell, thank you. I have a big shell if you want. What? How? It's a long story. Oh. In that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay, anyways, I totally want the shell. Can I swap before? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm on alert. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Got a magnifying glass. Okay. I don't see any tiny shells. But I'm gonna sit here and warp his face around a little bit because it's funny looking. <laughs> okay. Hi, Jibu. It's a mouse. How cute. Okay. What does mouse want? Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? 
Yes. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I have heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh, well, is it okay if I ask you some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. The ghost. Can you tell me more about the ghost? There's a ghost! <laughs> Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh, ghost scientist, not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know, uh, you know, because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this entire time? This whole time? Not only thinking about ghosts. Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions. Yes. You're nervous. You seem very nervous. Uh, because the detective thing I told you. Am I afraid of detectives? Maybe I, when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you afraid of me? Fine. You've worn me down. Darn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of a mysterious monkey. He's a huge fan of your blog, so I didn't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mysterious Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess up everything. Oh, well, is there anything else I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I am good at dancing. But I don't know what kind of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouth wa mouth mouse wash mouth mouth. Mouth? No. Let's try this again. One more time. Mouse wash. Mouth wash. In return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions? Yes. That bottle. What's in the bottle? That's my mouse wash. Mouth wash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style mysterious monkey legs. Okay. I'll come back later. Alright, now we just gotta talk to the sloth, I guess, who lives here. Who moves really fast for a sloth. Martin, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective, and I'm here from the agency. Oh, okay, don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine, I guess I just don't look so spooky. Alright, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, the king of the island. You're a king? Well, I got here and there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley, so I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't care. I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask you, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Probably Mystery Monkey. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Who's Finley? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance for the competition. Moves were amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while. She's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on? Got questions for me? Uh, let's ask about the noises, I guess. I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide voice of detective spirit and I read most of them and I accidentally skipped a lot of dialogue anyways the book said that the ghost can't be seen and get this I haven't seen a single ghost yet the proof is all there got questions not the moment let's go find the dance move things is that somebody new over there or am I just seeing stuff it's a crab Ooga booga. And um, questions, yes. What would you like to know? Dance styles. So are you uh, like dancing and dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I 
like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you likely be? This is such a right dance. What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh. Hmm. I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw, if I saw somebody break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw somebody break dance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times, forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye bye. I got a monkey fact. go trade my information. I have waterboarded the information out of the monkey and they like breakdancing. Talk to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh, did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, and here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouse wash. Mouth wash. Okay, so now what? Should I talk to him some more? Now let me talk to him some more. To them. Go ahead, got questions. So dance competition. You mentioned the dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Got questions. Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost is getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all of them on cyberweb.com, but now I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things bottom of the grave more like what that made more sense in my head i mean like we'll probably die before the mystery is solved that's a very dark dark just like the conclusion to this tale <laughs> sorry if i'm being dramatic you know i'm a good detective right i solve every case i've taken on except for the mystery pal to put a hat on my head is a strange shape it really is the point is you're safe i'm going to find the culprit the best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. Don't I don't feel okay. I'm finding it hard to calm down. I understand ghosts are crazy, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh, let's try a visualization exercise. It's the thing where we pretend. Imagine, you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and out. It's a safe speech this beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. <laughs> oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyways, the waves are coming in out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep. Nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. Thanks so much, detective. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. I got a chunk of gold. Ooh, look at that. It's made of pure gold. I like gold. Okay, got questions for me? No. So we got... We still need pasta. And we need something else. I don't know. Let's go talk to the person with the pasta, though. Give me your pasta, please. Can I interact with the hole itself? Detective, I can't get any further down. Bernie, questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? Magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's literally nothing else I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything else I can do to replay you? Need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I can give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. 
If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyways, my appetite is sedated from the deliciousness of the magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Alright, so we got pasta. We got gold. I need wool. Let me talk to him again make sure I didn't miss anything. Larry. More questions? Ask them. Questions, I mean. Let's do ingredients. Can you list the ingredients for the explosive device again? Toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. So I got two of them. Toothpaste, some wool. If you get those, you can get cooking. Alright, so we're halfway there. May I have some wool, sir? Or madame? Noodle, I may not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. Broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes. Amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird, but yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Alright, there we go. Now we just need toothpaste. And we have the mouth, the mouth wash, mouthwash to give to him. Back for questions. Take it away, D-Tech. Mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing. Thanks. Am I use able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. There we go. Now we got all the ingredients to make a bomb. I mean, <laughs> to make some dynamite. Let it. What happens if I just get on this boat and just try to leave? <laughs> this is fun, but I gotta get back to work. Okay. Before we wrap things up here, what happens if I try to, like... Is this the cave where all the spookiness is coming from? Okay. can't get any further down. Alright, let's make a bomb. More questions? Ask me. The questions, I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You've got everything. Yup. Thanks. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. We shall. Find this ghost. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploded. Well, this is it. Yup. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow up this cave. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. <laughs> and I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? Nope. I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy. Baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyways, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh boy. Spooky ooky cave. Alright, let's see. We got some mushrooms. That's the friend, isn't it? <laughs> Finley, ah. Who are you? Are you a ghost? What? I don't think so. Are you sure? Mm, yeah, that's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley, who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley, 
I know that name. Yeah, I'm pretty well known around the local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah, what are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, geez, like two weeks, I think. I didn't even realize. Wait, two weeks. Have you seen any ghosts around? Nah, just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really, why not? He thinks every dark place is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks, right? Yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective? No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyways, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing all these weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Mm, I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super weird warps too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. Could you you could have died. Haha. Uh -huh. Then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyways, we should go back up to the island. Yup. Ta-da. You made it. Martin Finley? Hi, Martin. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You? What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave. All along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But my ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It goes to show you should never trust books. <laughs> Always use the internet instead. Haha, uh -huh. anyways, books are without exception. Factually inaccurate. Yep. Ta-da! Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, the context in which books can be very useful and informative. Thank you, Grace. It's important to check with the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place for information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Grace. Enjoy the rest of the game. So anyways, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. Just to be clear, they're practicing for the competition this whole time. Yup. I'm in to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget, Mo the Mouse. Who? One the ghost scientist. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we more need more entrants. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move to the competition too today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. The lobster, the one that talks over for Yep. I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. <laughs> a game by Grace Barster. Very cool. Well, that was a goofy game. I'm gonna end that there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.